Hey guys, movie fan here to talk to you about something I generally don't cover. And that'd be a scientific theory that has come up not too long ago. And that would be the theory that dinosaurs had feathers. Now, this has been going on for at least a little while now, so I think everybody's familiar with it. Well, I hate to say this, but I'm one of the few people that does not go with the modern theory. And no, it is not because I'm too used to Jurassic Park and all that, or the older films where, you know, they were all scaly. I'm just going on because, you know, it's just a theory. A working theory at best. And, you know, when it comes to paleontology, there's still so much we don't know or may not necessarily have the answer to. And there's just some things I don't really buy. For instance, they talk about how they've been finding these little... Uh, pricks in the bones that seem to be signs that they had feathers because apparently birds have those signs in their bones as well now i'm no scientist i don't pretend to be one and i don't pretend to know more than they do but i do know one thing we are talking about bones that have been under the ground for over 65 million years so there's bound to be some gouges some marks and stuff like that from erosion and all kinds of things. So that's something that, for some reason, they are not taking into account. And not to mention, there have been some rare, and I mean rare, finds of dinosaurs that were mummified with their skin on. I'm not kidding. Seriously, they actually had their skin on and everything. Now, there were some found with feathers, no denying that. And <laughs> there's definitely no arguing with it either. But there were plenty that had been found with just skin. So, where are the feathers? Because there are mummified specimens of dinosaurs with feathers. So, if all dinosaurs have feathers, which they seem to be really pushing, then where are they? Did they just rot away and the skin was left behind? Somehow, I doubt that. Because, you know, mummification, as rare as it is, there have been plenty of times where things got mummified and hair was preserved and feathers. So... That it doesn't make any sense to me at all, to the theory that all dinosaurs have feathers. And that's one of the problems. They're practically saying that all dinosaurs had feathers, not just some. And here's the thing. If you ever watch any documentary on dinosaurs, or even the old tapes or the old movies, take your pick. You can tell that all dinosaurs were very different. They were very diverse in nature. You had ones that stood on two legs, some that stood on four legs. Some that, uh, well, were longer, shorter, taller, and uh, bulkier, thinner, scrawnier, you know, that sort of thing. My point is, no two are alike. So it's very unlikely that all dinosaurs had feathers. I mean, heck, look at the sauropods. They're practically built like giant elephants. And elephants don't have feathers. I'm not saying the sauropods are elephants, but they were kind of a predecessor to them in a way. And... You know, being built like that, feathers would be very pointless. And not to mention, pretty cumbersome. Could T-Rex have had feathers? Well, it's possible, because they did confirm that T-Rex was related to birds. Now, I'm not saying that dinosaurs didn't have feathers. No, no. I'm saying that the theory doesn't truly hold water 100%. All I'm saying is, you know, just because you find some small pieces of evidence here and there, which is questionable does not necessarily make it so. Because, again, in the ground, facing erosion and all kinds of things for 65 million years. So, that doesn't prove much to me. Finding indications of feathers? Sure, sure, I'm convinced, definitely. And besides that, the smaller ones, like velociraptors or those little, um, you know, other little dinosaurs, they seem to be the ones to have the feathers. Not the big guys. And... That doesn't seem to fit. And there's even a theory going around that, oh, no, they didn't necessarily were covered with feathers. They just kind of had some quills here and there. Look, there was one dinosaur that was found with some quills just on the tip of his tail, but that does not make it so for everybody here. And some theories have even suggested that maybe they even had, like, patches of fur here and there, which makes no sense. How could you be scaly, yet furry, yet feathery? That doesn't fit. That, that just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. Now, this video is meant to question 
what I've been seeing all over YouTube. I'm not saying they're necessarily wrong. All I'm saying is that there's a lot more about dinosaurs than just what they seem to come up with. Because, you know, we've been working on the theory that they were scaly for quite a long time. Over 100 years, in fact. That doesn't necessarily make it so, and there's no denying that. But just because you find some small, scant pieces of evidence of feathers does not necessarily mean that all dinosaurs had feathers, either. And, again, mummified skin on certain species, which definitely does not show any signs of feathers. That's very questionable, folks. That gives plenty of reasons to question the feather theory. So, think about that. This is Movie Fan, signing off.